sometimes you just get everything right. Coming up. AEAC is made possible by Air Venturi, Hawk Optics, Diana Air Guns, FX Air Guns, Day State, Air Arms, Sports Match Rings UK, H&N Sport, Aztec Optics, and JSB Predator Pellets. And you guys know the best way to thank them. All right, guys, the FX Wildcat Mark II Compact comes to us from Sweden, and it is the shorter 31-inch version of the 33.5-inch version standard. The Compact comes in 25 cal only. By itself, it weighs an extraordinarily feathery 6.2 pounds. As you see it here, to include a scope and mounts, it weighs in at 7.8. It's available in this black synthetic only. It ships with two 8-shot magazines and a fill probe. If purchased here in the States, it comes with a three-year warranty, and you can pick one up from my friends at Pyramid Air for around $1,400. Now, the Wildcat is regulated by FX's new, externally adjustable, more robust amp regulator. So when you fill its 230cc reservoir to its 230 bar max, you're gonna get about 30 good shots on that regulator with an extreme spread of 15 and a standard deviation of just 3.3 before it falls off at around 145 bar. Now power comes in at a thrusty 43 foot-pounds of energy, which it accomplishes by pushing a 25 grain pellet to an average of about 880 feet per second across those 30, with that round carrying with it 37 foot-pounds of energy, 25 yards downrange. Now the pup also takes advantage of FX's proprietary Smooth Twist X interchangeable barrel liner system and 500 millimeter barrel, an extra fat OEM shroud and moderator, Picatinny above and below, a forward-facing manometer, a rubber butt pad, a nice poly cheek piece, properly placed and ultra slick, side lever cocking, and of FX's dual stage match grade fully adjustable trigger with manual safety. So, why do I think it's so good? Simple, 43 to 47 foot pounds out of a 31 inch regulated gun that weighs just six pounds, is ultra quiet, is ultra accurate, has the most gem-like precision in all of its switch gear, and comes with a three-year warranty here in the States. In addition, the compact is narrow, perfectly balanced, loads up well, and cycles fairly quickly. Ratchet it too quickly, however, and the magazine will jump pellets. If you're new to my channel, you'll see some data presented in the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. The small box is wind speed measured at the target in miles per hour. The large one is the pellets leaving and arriving velocity as measured with Doppler radar. This will allow you to calculate ballistic coefficient, as well as leaving and arriving energy levels. Narrow, light, short, and powerful are the perfect recipe for being challenging to shoot from the bag. But I assure you, this barrel and shooting system could not be more true. And sub one inch hundred yard groups are easy, making the Wildcat compact an elite hunter. Cocking's incredibly light and slick for any air gun, let alone one making this much power. Forward cycling is equally as nice, but can get a little bumpy moving the pellet out of the mag and into the breech. The handle itself is very comfortable and is in the perfect position. The bolt probe is hollow and doubles as a transfer port. Pretty slick stuff.
Should the need arise, the compact's trigger is fully adjustable, but the need never arose. The first stage take-up is clean and light and is quite resettable. Comes up against a nice hard stop, and with just a little bit more pressure, it's gonna break like glass. One pound, one ounce. This year at Armac, Ted gave me a sleeve of FX pellets to try. They're manufactured by JSB, and their design is identical to the JSB 25.39 grain. However, they're made in a different dye, so slight variations in their final shape may yield different results. And you just might like what you discover. Speaking of discovery, JSB, H&N Sport, and FX Air Guns have invited me to Europe this fall. At the end of October, I'll be making the trip to Sweden, Germany, and the Czech Republic to make y'all three videos of those manufacturing facilities. So now would be a good time to click that subscribe button in the lower right hand corner of your viewing screen. And be sure to click your notification bell so that you're notified when those videos come out. If you want to know what's on deck for review here at AEAC, hit me up on my website, aeaconline.com. There you'll find the bullpen, dugout, and more. To keep up with my day-to-day -day discovery and approach as I work my way towards and through the making of each and every one of these videos, you can follow AEAC on Instagram, keyword search, hooked on air. On my Instagram, you'll find loads of pictures and revealing tech notes. For a giant close-up photo pack and post-review final thoughts and conclusions, circle back and visit me on Facebook, keyword search, hooked on air. There you'll also find various industry announcements that may be of particular interest. And if you haven't figured it out, hello, I've got two YouTube channels. Every full review here on AEAC Home also gets a discovery and approach video on AEAC Vlog. And I'll share things there that won't make it here. It's a lot of gun for the money. So, all right, so the smooth twist. So we all like to keep our air gun barrels clean, or at least most of us do. Um, I always start on a clean barrel when I go to experimenting, when I put in my due diligence and learning the gun and learning what it likes, right? But I also clean the barrel and start fresh. You know, when I go out to film the full review, which you'll catch in a week or two over on AEAC Home, the big channel, where I will stretch this gun out to 50 and 100 yards as I do all of them. And so barrel cleaning is kind of important in my world. I like to know I can easily get to it. I like to know it's not going to be a fight or a struggle. So let me show you how easy it is to service these Smooth Twist X barrels, okay? Oh, that moment of silence is kind of nice after all that talking. All right, so you just unscrew that, you slide it off. I guess as long as we're to this point, I should probably talk about why you see this and why you see this. So this per, because there are always between six and 10 guns waiting here for me to get to to review. It's just the nature of my world, okay? And so this one's been here for uh, a while now in line, in the queue, if you will. And um, the way these used to come is with one inch threads. There you can see them, one inch 20 threads on the back there. And that's what this is. Now these come with half inch 20 threads, all right? So if you were to order this today, it's gonna to come with half inch 20 threads on the end here so that you can affix your favorite moderator. I spent a lot of time playing with this one, this Donny FL, when I was doing my experimentation and learning because it's one of my favorites. So I just wanted you to feel encouraged that you can do the same. The, the OEM configuration is as you see here. Your dealer where you buy it from has the option, do I bring this product in from Sweden with this moderator or with this moderator? But just to let you know, they're all going forward are the half inch 20 so that it's standardized and you can play with what you wanna play with, right? So, so like I said, it's just a big empty tube and it does a great job. There's nothing incredibly fanciful or expensive in here, all right? So what you're gonna be left with is this sort of sleeve, this blued sleeve, if you will, on the outside. And then inside is a barrel 
that FX refers to as a liner. I always think of the liner as the outside piece, but I guess in Sweden, it's the inside piece. And you got this little plug on the outside here. You give it a little unscrew. This is a 10 millimeter wrench, by the way. By design, all of these outlets are meant to bring you in on my discovery, approach, testing, and realization. And with almost 50,000 of you following me now, it's becoming increasingly difficult to answer your individual questions. So for all the info, follow me across all five. Refilling the compact's compact 230cc reservoir is really easy. Take the probe that ships with the gun, do a little bit of braille, and fill to no more than 230 bar. When you're done, bleed the air between your fill source and the gun. Remove the probe and return the dust cover. It's that easy. Keeping with the theme of lightweight and compact, I wanted to run Hawk's new Air Max 30 SF compact scope. Wrapped up in Sportsmatch's Hedo 68C offset mounts, it's the perfect complement to this pup, and the two together weigh just 1.6 pounds. The scope itself is about the size of a hot dog. On the downside, it doesn't play particularly well with my scope cam, and the eye relief is quite short. Outside of that, I'm seriously appreciating it, and it's romanced its way into my favorites bucket. The new caps are great, and the turrets do what I tell them to. The illuminated side focus is on the heavy side, but it does come with a small accessory wheel. The glass and reticle are superb, especially for the $330 price point. Even at 10x, there's no vignetting around the edges, and that reticle is just a gem in the heavy brush. All in all, there's a lot to like here, and its tininess is a cherry on top. For the 43 to 47 foot-pounds that this teeny thing is putting out, the OEM shroud and moderator do an extraordinary job at keeping sound down.
A heavier pellet often means more power, and our compact was slinging these 3395s to 45 foot-pounds, and delivering an additional 550 yards down range. All good things when you're on the prowl. If you live in Brazil and happen to be watching, I want to give a shout out to my buddy Marcus. He's the owner of MPLA Air Guns Brazil. So if you live out that way and you're thinking about a Wildcat Compact, he's the guy to see. You can find him on mpla-airguns.com. And when you do, tell him I said hi. He's a good dude and he'll take good care of you. Well, that's all for today guys and special thanks to Pyramid Air for getting the FX Wildcat Mark II Compact into my hands to review for you. You guys know the best way to thank them for that one. Now from here you'll want to head on over to the Air Gun Nation forum so that you can participate in the discussion thread on the compact. I'll leave you a link on how to get there in the description down below. So with that, I'm Steve Shally. Thank you so much for watching 
and have a great week, everyone.